how check who came doing. through for you guys. We who? are good. For us. We came okay, through for yes. the people. <laughs> how are you? I'm okay. I'm good. I just lost my voice, but I'm okay. Hey. <laughs> uh, you, so you think I'm making this up? <laughs> Anywho, how was your weekend? Girl, the weekend was I can't amazing. Think. How was your Monday? Uh, my Monday was beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, how was your weekend? Hey, hey, my weekend was really, man, it was a Go lit one. We went to the basketball Sierra game. for mm. the Patriots and it was really amazing. Yes. Bro. You made us proud. Mm. We are yeah. very happy randoms. Okay. <laughs> we so were screaming. Vibe. Everybody in the audience was like, okay, what is <laughs> happening? <laughs> mm. Anyway, that's basically what I'm happened. I'm not shocked weekend. or am I surprised? <laughs> for those of you who went uh, for um, the Timaya concert, I hope mm -hmm. you had a great yeah. time. I didn't go. Isn't it the first time that I haven't attended a concert? Mm. What had happened? Urumba, I was resting. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, so I hope you guys had a great weekend. We are here for the opinion poll. You know how we do it. So stay tuned. We're going to be right back into that session. Yes, so. <laughs> We're going to be having a very wonderful topic. I can't wait because I have so much to say about it. Okay. I don't know if I have much or if, if I have less up words. Up to now, I don't know my opinion. I mm. will know it when I start talking. <laughs> In fact, we are starting with your no, opinion. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no, because all the time. Oh, yes. I, I won't copy. I'm Girl, trying to no, say No, no, no. We are starting with your opinion. Joy is starting. We are starting has, with you. In fact, Jo has never started. She has. She's always in the second or the last. Oh, you know? Yeah. Start. So, let's pass on the topic. Why are you changing the I love you. So, our topic today is uh, more on uh, the African level. Mm. Yes, yeah, for yeah. our African mothers, mm. fathers, Africa children. Yes. Yo, we rep Africa very well. If you know you're African, you definitely know what's going on. So, today's topic is, does disciplining in terms of beating hurt us or help us? And if it does, uh, depending on the side that you've uh, picked, How? why? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. so disciplining is more of a, like, a civilized way to say it but uh, in other words it's whooping mm. beating <laughs> all those words so does it hurt us or discipline us does it hurt the children of today mm -hmm. does it um help them you who passed through it did it help you did it hurt you we want to know what you think how you feel mm -hmm. so draw mm -hmm. so if you're an african child honestly you know what beating and whooping is in an african home mm -hmm. yeah. and i think it's just you know culture if that's how we can say it i don't know but you know parents actually feel like if they become physical then that's when you actually understand, we'll understand. and you know you listen to what they're telling you to not mm -hmm. do exactly so here is what i think everybody because if you have a body then if anything like snatches you or if you know something passes on your uh, you know skin you eventually feel it you know it hurts honestly it hurts mm -hmm. whether it's just a simple um what a slap or you know when well, however it is it just hurts but i think it helps in one way or another but i think it helps you know it gives us uh-huh it leaves uh, you know bad experiences and traumas Trauma. to the kids who are being bitten mm -hmm. so this is what i think when you beat someone you, i don't think you're teaching them uh, you know, to not do something that they did, I feel like you're investing the fear in them to not, every time they think about doing the same mistake, they will recall the beatings that they got and it's the fear that you, you're investing in them not you making sure that they learn to not make the same mistakes again so I feel like, you know, our parents actually mistake the the the, uh, the teaching and also the hurting and the beating that they give us, I feel like they, you know, they should discipline us in so many other ways because, uh, you know, they're there you can sit with your kid and and, you know talk to them and you know be civil and you know civilized in a way that they can understand you not you investing it and putting all the traumas to themselves i mean to them you know investing in them another thing that uh, you know um the beating creates in children is it uh, brings long distance it creates distance between a parent and, and the child. kid because if you give me like a hard time i'm already I, like i fear you already so i don't think it will be easy for me to come to you once i face something if i'm going through something it you won't be the first person to come to my head if i be like you know i'm seeking for advice i'm looking for help so it creates that distance uh, i think like it's not helping us but it's actually drawing us far away from our parents because that's where I think I stand. Yeah. Okay. What can you say? So, um, I have a question for you. Were you beaten as a child? Bro, I was. I was whooped. 
Mm. Like um, one time, what, what? <laughs> once by my dad. My mom has never like actually beaten me, but um, okay, there's this time. You know what happened in school? Like mm. we failed so much in class, mm. and every time we could get uh, the results, you know, you could bring the slips to home. Everybody would see. That's what they're waiting exactly. for. Exactly. So we failed, and we decided, me and my brother and my sister, we decided yes, to hide so it. You all failed. <laughs> yes. This one time I was in P4. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, one time, uh, okay, well, by then when I was in P4, my brother was in P6. I was in P3, my brother was in P6. You hid your slips in We P3. hid them. Ha, my, he used to wake up early. My dad used to wake him up early to actually, you know, like do morning preps for the national exams because he was almost coming. So he woke him up and, uh, you know, he went to the sitting room to study from there. And then he fell asleep and he was using the same papers of uh, the, the, the exam that we had failed. Mm. When my dad came to check up on him, he found the papers with him. And he's like, How, when did you get the papers? So, you know, he freaked out and everything. And he said, we got the papers, but we failed, blah, blah, blah. It was early morning, bro. It was like six. Mm -hmm. They woke us up. Yo. All of us. Mm. We made the line. They hit us, bro. It was just, you know. Oh, good. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah. I, the reason why I asked that is because um, I was beaten once by was my mom. was beaten. Listen, I know. Maybe but this new generation. It was almost, that was almost me. I was almost almost never beaten so i was beaten once by my mom i was in p2 please i don't even know oh my, really like p2 so i had also failed i think i would name as miss nini gonna in class and stuff like that so my teacher complained mm. and called my mom in each day i wasn't living with my dad my dad wasn't in the country so i think my mom was so tired mm. filled with pressure she's like oh, no, 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 no. she's like you know what let me beat her I'll that was exactly that was once by my mom my dad in his life he had never sworn to hit us mm. and until one day nini, and he hit us once but i've been beaten twice in my life but like what i'm trying to say is that despite that time i think you know david and my dad but he had sworn to never hit his children and it's because it was um a value that he had it was an understanding that he had given to himself it was one of his values i don't want to hit my children because i believe it does not add anything but you know sometimes you show up and then you do it when that due to that anger that is probably escalated in uh, more than you know different incidents but normally he had never and after that time he swore to never do it my dad guilt trip in two seconds, mm -hmm. uh, he feels guilty about what he has done. The bad guy. Exactly. But yo, what I'm trying to say is that I don't believe beating or hitting or disciplining your child in terms of physical... Um, physicalness is what really helps because one like you said it does attach yourself from your child yeah. because your child instead of trying to trust you and tell you what's going on i'm failing in class this mm. is how i need help um i don't know what's going a on boy, oh, a girl um, broke my exactly heart. Yeah. i lied about this nothing the gutaha just because of this mm. if you hit your child then they're not going to trust you mm. then they're going to keep fearing you no no but we and do it in a more slick way yeah. so that you don't find out so that's that's what hitting does to it creates trauma i have mm. so many people who are traumatized due to their childhood beatings and you know parents of long time let yeah. me tell you <laughs> they would beat you until they're tired yeah. not you mm. whether you cry no no they tell you if you cry you get beaten even more yeah that is child that abuse is, mm. that is child abuse that is too much so let me tell you i don't i don't believe in beating your child because i feel like me, I was beaten twice in my life and it turned out okay. Mm. Those ones who were beaten 10,000 times, maybe they're also okay. But then we can both be okay. We are, let's, that means we're both okay on the same level, but mm. we were raised differently. It doesn't so, have to be that. Exactly. Thing. It doesn't have to be physical. So I, I, I give my I promise to myself, I'm not going to hit my child. I hope my future husband will have the same values as me. And let's try and instill this in so many different i hope our generation because our generation they were beaten mm. and i'm sure they don't want to hit their children mm. but some believe some believe that they were beaten and they were raised right that is how they want to raise their children mm. so you know how that can happen as well mm -hmm. so i'm not gonna hi hit my child i hope my future my my fellow um generation as one do the same i just don't believe it helps and um yo the trauma that it brings up in children is not you know can you believe having your child grow up with scars and it was not that's just crazy mm. so that's just not that it's not fair at all i don't i don't i don't like that it, it hurts us instead of helping us mm -hmm. the most percentage what about i you? i just feel like um you know children may be caned maybe beaten by parents or even by guardians who have taken over the responsibility it's not only the biological parents mm. there are even others who 
have taken up the, the responsibility of taking care of these children and you find that they are um, beating them because they just want to have the pleasure of beating them. So it's not just because sometimes children have done something wrong. Ahubgo, it depends on parents. It depends on parents or even the person that would be Yeah. Mm. Ugasanga aramukubita ugasanga ntago amuha chance yo kwisobanura ugasanga nyine there is there is no um conversation so here is what i think about parents who can children because um yego tichigororwa kikirigito so i think that is what they use in beating us you know let me beat you let me beat you but rather njemba numva beating it should be the last resort because i'm not saying not to eat because mm. it's one of the things that help children become who they are mm. our parents are who they are today or they're organized or they treat us like the way they treat us because haruwabareze kandi wabareze yabareze neza yego kubitana gari ko kurera neza ariko kugushyira ku murongo yeah so I, I want to say that I'm not supportive of caning. Personally, I wouldn't be a parent that canes. Or rather, I would be a parent that discusses, that wants that conversation to be there. Because when the conversation is there, it will eliminate mistakes. So, yeah, personally, I feel like, um, okay, yes, but caning or beating, it should be the last, last resort. Mukumun, you know, uri under um, uh, drugs or anything. Rehabilitation center is like the last resort. To me as well, caning should be the last resort. Caning your child should be the last, last option that ever, ever comes. Kuko, it's not the first thing that should come before you even converse and be like, why did you do this or why did you do that? There are two ways of caning. There are slaps. Yeah. There are belts, there are sticks, rumba. There are slippers. There are slippers yeah. and they are what do they call it? <laughs> Horn. Those are they different did, ones. Ah, they didn't. And there is pulling the ears. Yeah, yeah, and, pulling there is, the ears. and there is pinching. Mm. But so, there is also this type of disciplining that didn't necessarily um, have to do with beating cocoon. They would tell you go and kneel in the corner. Oh my god. Yeah. Different ways, yes. Put your Especially hands in up. classes. Exactly. Or those exotic Cambridge I would kids. <laughs> would be like you're grounded for a year oh god you're, you're like without your phone grounding. yeah i don't so believe in grounding so i feel it's just too stupid but to some parents who are yeah, some, exotic, yeah, some think parents that's think it really works but you know sometimes that can actually help if you if they take if you're a child of this century they take away your phone mm -hmm. you're used to going out they tell you you can't leave the house that can actually so in a, it's the method i will use yeah, grounding. It, it, it does traumatize you uh, in its own uh, way no, 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 it depends in situations like yeah. as you have put it maybe people of this generation but back in our day back in the days like as if she it was a long long time no, ago bro, as if you're honest, 40 years old be honest in 2000 and something did you ever hold the phone for yourself and you had, were in second me I had like a small phone that one that you that one 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 example what do you <coughs> sorry 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 what do you think about uh you know she said beating should be the last resort but i know don't you think sometimes like um it's really necessary to beat a child mm -hmm. i'm good let me tell you ah, so listen, uh, they, they let me you. tell you it is not necessary to beat a child when you can have a conversation there is something that they used to stick single but they do it break your bones but, but words break anybody they i don't know they 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 cut deep mm. so sticks they can break you no no in the sorry back in the day say your brothers even my brother the next day exactly. tell me how that works uh -huh. so i think sometimes it's really like inevitable it's how? necessary how does it help especially, especially whether you like it or not if you're an african this thing is natural like it lives i know in it's us. natural but you can I still survive yeah, without i being know beaten. you can still survive without being bitten i can take an example a child breaks from nowhere she or he speaks things that you cannot even believe they came out of them. Kumoku bitase. Do you realize? Is that to my magambata mufamu? Whatever is called atari. 
when the, 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 it's the way Abayara is the, the things that they hear in their surrounding, that is not going to change due to beating. If there's the family is still going to be safe, it's not that around. we still will invest the power of the fear that we said. This is what I think. I would not advise people, especially parents, to hit their kids. Mm -hmm. But if he was or she was my kid, I would not beat them. But if it was necessary, I swear I would hit them. The, what is necessary? Is you you never know. It depends on the situation. Shami, there is nothing but I'm just necessary. being honest because now everything is not anyway. going to be solved with conversations and mm -hmm. everything. So if mm -hmm. it is necessary, if she or he is my kid, Okay. You have the rights over your child because you're the one who pushes yeah, anyway. No? So anyway, please, yeah, we have some comments on Instagram. It. Very many, actually. So uh, on our story, we have uh, Shaka7 went on to say it mostly hurts. Counseling is better. Emotional, physical, and other damages are brought about by beating, which is very true. And then... Um, Jean, Jean Vier says it helps us because it is the way of getting disciplined, not just because you, because next time you might fear to be beaten again. And then um, Yabez15 says no, beating doesn't help, hurts more uh, in, in terms of uh, mental issues and depression. The answer is a discussion. So um, Tatian, Tatiana Teta. 53 says it hurts because Cain breaks the bone not usual doing so parents should sit and take a possible solution and then um Gislain 7 says I'd say both beating a child helps them morally to do what is right morally and it does hurt physically and then um Princess Dorcas says it helps us kids, but not elder children 18 years and above because us kids cannot be convinced by words. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Parfait says can help, but more it, it, it hurts more. Um, people can change uh, due to the fear. So uh, that's uh, most of the comments that we have. Others are just short, short answers. It doesn't help. And then uh, it hurts. It hurts us. So um, I like that. That's something that she said about, yes, about age. Yes, age exactly. difference. Mm -hmm. Please don't hit your child who is above 18. Oh, no. Please. They don't deserve that. Well, no, no, no. Above 18, yes. I no, no. No, above 18, they shouldn't yeah. be beaten because they're like grown ups. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I believe like, maybe you start from nine, ten because no, 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 seven and five, they're still young. So maybe it's nine from nine to 17. Mm. At least this is what I think. Mm. Yeah, but those are our opinions. Thank you guys for those who uh, pitched in on our Instagram story. Definitely love to hear what you have to say about the different topics. Remember mm -hmm. to send in your choice of topics that you would like us to discuss and let's make it. Our collaboration exactly no 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 quick True. advice to parents as she said let uh, you know if you're even to beat them let it be the last result you know sitting down conversing making sure that you know what is even the main reason that you know let mm, but some parents they wait for it to get <laughs> off it is bit fast and <laughs> later. You, you speak first before you cane them so yeah. you know it's just a humble advice if you can you know please consider it yeah yeah